Hi, I'm Mark Bickley, and as we count down to the Kangaroos Clash, welcome to the Crows Show, brought to you by Hungry Jack's new Pulled Pork and Angus Grill Masters. In today's show, former champions check out the next generation of stars, and a glimpse behind the scenes on game day. But first, few young players have ever transitioned to the AFL as comfortably as Max Michelani. From the opening round, Max has settled into defence with the assuredness of a veteran, matching it with some of the game's most experienced forwards. Comparisons have even been made with Crows legend Ben Hart. Obviously it's a real honour, you know, he's a legend of the club and one of the greatest we've ever had. But if I could be half the player Ben Hart is, um, obviously I'm doing something right and um, yeah, really honoured to get that comparison. It's pretty hard to set, I guess, expectations coming into a new environment, you know, I wasn't too sure what to expect. Um, so I guess a goal that I had was just to play one game um, at the start of the year and um, thankfully I've played every game so far so that's something I'm really proud of. The only Michael Annie. Michael Annie does well with the kids. First showdown for him. Showdown. Um, that was my first win. Obviously, a massive occasion. Um, their home home showdown as well. So it was great to get a win there. And um, obviously, there was a lot of feeling in the game as well. So yeah, it meant a lot to me. I feel like I'm adjusting better and better every single week. So as the season's going on, I feel like I'm getting better and better. And uh, I've been working really closely with the strength and conditioning guys. So they've helped me out a lot. We're just getting a lot stronger, um, a lot fitter as well. Obviously, going up the levels, there's a lot more running that's involved. And um, yeah, just matching it with. The bigger bodies. Yeah, it's pretty surreal. Obviously, it's pretty special ground, and um, yeah, really excited to be out here. It's gonna be awesome. There he is. Um, obviously, haven't played a game in Melbourne yet this year, so um, yeah, really looking forward to it, and hopefully, there's a big crowd out. Crazy, you know, to think 12 months ago I was um, watching a game at the MCG, now I'm playing there. It's um, yeah, definitely a surreal experience. Um, it was my first time ever onto the G, and I think it's, it's, oh, it's definitely the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of. So um, yeah, even though they, they were mostly Collingwood supporters, you know, there was a real good representation of the Crow supporters as well, and that was super loud, which um, yeah, really pushed us along. Max's calmness and confidence belie his age, and it's great to see he's recommitted to the club. Like a couple of his teammates, he played his first ever game at the MCG against Collingwood. Watching the clash were some well-known Crows names, including Podsy Adley, Welsh, Otten, Eccles and Knights. A few children with familiar names were also there, Goodwin, Hart and Stevens. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, the past players themselves were really engaged from the get-go, from the first invitation. The sons were just blown away by the access that Nixie and the players gave them um, on, on a game day, which was awesome. Oh, it's been brilliant. Yeah, it feels like uh, I've never left, I guess. It's been a long time since uh, we've been back around the club, but it's, I think it's a brilliant thing to get us back down and, yeah, really enjoyed it. Dad's obviously a premiership player at the club. Do you talk much about his career at the Crows? Oh uh, yeah, he loves to talk about it a bit. Uh, yeah, I'd love to play at the Adelaide Footy Club if um, keep going well. Simon was fantastic from the get-go. It was all about Eddie. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a club champion, um, former captain of the club and so on, but essentially he wanted to allow Eddie to live the experience of, of the Adelaide Footy Club like he did uh, when he first came into the ranks. It was fantastic to have him in, and it's a, it's a tough one because as coaches, you know, and we were opposing coaches, sometimes there's that feeling of I don't, I don't want to impose. But I, I, I've asked Goody to come in. I thought it was great to have him come back in with his son and um, Eddie and get amongst the group. Um, I'd love to. I wanted to bring him into the team meeting, and I thought, no, no, we play him in three weeks. But you know, to have him in the rooms and, and just get him back, he hadn't been back for 12 years, so it was, it was fantastic for our footy club. While they didn't see a win, they would no doubt have been impressed with the footy they saw. Stay with us, still to come, some special moments that very few fans get to see.
Wilson is pivotal to a lot. He's bringing some with him now. Length on the kick. This is the man that can help get them over the line. Taylor Walker, 55 metres out. Oh, he's done it! Everyone around Australia wants a ticket to see Taylor at the MCG. Collingwood are on top for a reason. Ten of the last 14 times when they've tried a three-quarter time. And they've done it again. Their determination to fight back after half-time in a finals-like atmosphere shows the team is headed places. And Matthew Nix let us into the rooms to hear what he had to say post-match. What is it when we're at our best? Let's make sure we can look out of the door and know. In comparison to when we're not and we're feeling like our heads are spinning, we use the word spooked. What is it when we're at our best? When you play those sides, you have to do it for four quarters. Or you need a little bit of luck. And we didn't get the luck today. But I got really proud of you for, for the effort, because that's like, you know, I, I can genuinely walk now out of this room, stand here with this mop, I can walk out of this room, I can walk into a presser, I can say, that's, that's our boys. What a great insight. Now, community footy remains the game's lifeblood, producing tomorrow's champions and giving fans a grassroots connection. Next weekend, all roads lead to the Barossa Valley for the State Country Championships, where the South East will defend their senior title. The Carnival will also feature a Sandful game between the Crows and Central District. Thanks to Bendigo Bank, let's explore the importance of the event for the six state zones. I think Road Safety at South Australian Football Country Championships is an annual event that brings together all the best country footballers, male and female, from across the state. It really elevates the profile of community football in South Australia, particularly country football. So I don't think there's, I think probably South Australia and Western Australia are the only two states that have an event such as this now. And, and then that culminates with our players being selected to represent, well, our male players at this stage being uh, selected in a state country team. And this year they'll get to go to Western Australia. And in future years, we're hoping to incorporate a women's state uh, team as well where they'll play a double header hopefully where they'll travel between states year on year so I think that aspirational pathway is a great thing for, for country footy and, and given the country plays something to aspire to who, who aren't in a I suppose a recognised talent pathway at that time. I think it was pretty well publicised last year the Premier was really keen to get a, an AFL gather round game at the Barossa so I think this will show that the Barossa can host big events in the football landscape and that includes the country champs games but also um, um, the Sample men's game between Central Districts and the Adelaide Crows and hopefully it's a real stepping stone for the region towards that AFL gather round game but it's a world class wine region as well we get to showcase that we get to fill up all all the beds in the region and all the restaurants and cafes and things like that so it's a real great economic boost for local business as well up there. Okay now it's time for Ben Keys to have a coffee catch up with one of his teammates all thanks to Jack's Cafe at Hungry Jack's. We're back in the Jack's Cafe corner, guys. Thanks to our proud sponsor, Hungry Jack's. We appreciate all your support. I've got uh, one of my favorite teammates in the world, one of my favorite blokes as well. Welcome to the show, Lockie. Thanks for having me, Ben. Lockie, you've been at the club for a while now, mate. You're uh, yeah, nearly one of the, the veterans of the, of the club, even though you're so young, you played a lot of footy. Um, how did you get to the club? Um, tell us a bit about your draft story, how you end up here. Um, yeah, a bit of a unique story from my end, Ben. Um, missed out on the draft from Victoria. Uh, decided to fly over and play in the sample. Uh, for the Sample Crows, um, played in the back pocket there and um, got drafted out of there. So, no, it's been a, a unique story, but um, yeah, been six years now and, and loving it. Mate, played a lot of footy uh, in your young career, which is credit to you, but can you tell all the fans, uh, what's your favourite Crows moment so far? Uh, my favourite Crows moment was probably uh, in 2018, around 17, I think it was, when uh, Sloaney announced he was re-signing for five years. <laughs> I think it was against Geelong, Thursday night footy, um, and he, he kicked a goal from 50 odd, and I think there was 50,000 there that night, um, so it was probably the loudest I've heard at the Oval go. Don't they love the signing, or the re-signing of Rory Sloan, and this will top it off. And, and we got the win that night as well, so that was probably my favorite Crows moment. That's a good one. Yeah, we haven't had that one yet. Lockie, thanks so much for coming on, mate. That was a great chat. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Ben.
Congratulations to the Thunderbirds on going through to the Super Netball League Grand Final. In particular, Matilda Garrett, who's been doing work experience with the Crows in the football department. I'm studying exercise sports science at the moment, so I'm actually from Melbourne and moved across to Adelaide two and a half years ago um, to play for the Adelaide Thunderbirds in the Suncorp Super Netball League. Um, so I am lucky enough to be doing my placement at the moment with the Crows. Yeah, I think what's really cool about um, being in this organisation is just um, how some of the um, specialists here go about loading the players. I think that's something that in netball um, is a step we can take to you know, load us as players because everyone's quite different so I love how training sessions are really um, thought out about how many kilometres they're going to run, um, how much speed they're going to hit throughout each training session so um, yeah that's something I've really learnt here and hopefully continue to learn more about as well. It's been a really exciting season, it's been fun which sport should be um, and it's been great that our results have been reflecting how we've actually been feeling so yes fingers Fingers crossed. Welcome back. We all remember the striking Crows Indigenous Guernsey that players wore in Sir Doug Nichols' round. The jumper was revealed to us on the Crows show by AFLW player Danielle Ponter, whose auntie designed it. At the time, Danielle was living in Darwin, but she's since moved to Adelaide. Teammate Ebony Marinoff caught up with Danielle to discuss her lifestyle change. All right, Danny, week five. It's your first full pre-season in Adelaide. Tell us about your big move and how you're enjoying it. Well, no. Yes. It hasn't been my first full pre-season. Hey, in Adelaide. In Adelaide. Based in Adelaide. Adelaide. Yes. Yes. But like, no, like, I've had pre-seasons in Adelaide before. Thank COVID for that. When did you decide to, I guess, commit to make the big move? I think it was towards like the end of last season that I really thought it might just be easier if I just made the move. It made it very difficult working and living in two different places. Flying down here, so coming back. I guess the main reason for the move was for work. What have you felt in the last four weeks um, and the rewards that you're feeling? I feel like you've had a bit more of a leadership presence in that forward line. Like, Are you excited to take that and make that sort of your own? Yeah, I suppose so, but I guess we've had a few others like Lisa Whiteley and um, those girls that have been around for a while that um, will probably, you know, speak up and help out. I reckon you've had about three nominations for Mark of the Year, <laughs> so you can do it. Kicking goals. <laughs> not that. Jeez, not like that. Just get a bit creative not being the one in the pack. What, down on the ground? Down on the ground. Or through the middle of the uh, Unley Oval oh. against Geelong. No, I'm not doing that anymore. Should have won. Missed herself about, what do you get? Is it five grand? Oh, I don't know, but I'm still puffing from it. It was hard work. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was watching it and you didn't I even celebrate. Straight to the bench. <laughs> I was like, if you want to celebrate with me, I'm running that way. Oh, dear. And that's your line that you've got to get to if you want to high five. That's all we need. You get a goal. Going home. Come on, Danny. I'll try it here. Here, go home. Oh, let's go! Let's go. You get the bin, right? Yeah, cool. <laughs> We're going home! We're going home! Remember, the best way to see Danielle, Ebony and all their teammates is with a Crows AFLW membership. Of course, you can still secure a membership for the remainder of the AFL season. Flexible and affordable memberships start from $35 a game. Join the Crows family at crowsmembership.com.au. The buy round gave players the opportunity to forget about football for a few days, which raises the question, how do they relax away from the game? Each week this season, Jones Radiology gives us a clearer picture of what they get up to. Okay guys, this is Jordan Butts here and these are the three things that I do uh, outside of football. We have a little movie club going on at the moment. Um, there's a bunch of us boys that, that like to keep up, keep up to date with the new releases of movies and, um, and yeah, going on release night and, and watching these uh, 
yeah, crack of movies and, and we like to go at least uh, once a week. Um, and yeah, it's always some, something I look forward to throughout the week. And the second one, I've just got a beach photo here. I enjoy yeah, going to the beach, um, having a swim in the summer, um, but also just like going to the cafes around the beach and have a coffee and uh, go out for breakfast, have a feed and, um, and enjoy yeah, company with my mates as well. The third one is just a little video of me playing FIFA. I play FIFA a lot with my mates from home. So my two mates, Mitchell and Edward, um, we have a little pro clubs team going on at the moment and um, we're fighting for the division one title at the moment. So um, I've been spending a lot of my time uh, you know, playing games and, and we're trying to, yeah, as I said, go for the Division 1 title and um, yeah, we've been striving for that for the past few months, so hopefully we can get it done soon. Thank you for watching and that's what I like to get up to outside of football. Saturday is, is this year's um, breakthrough round. It's been a, an incredible opportunity for us to continue to drive our messaging, which is about the importance of reaching out, not holding that mental health conversation or that mental health concern to yourselves, reaching out, having the conversation and starting to get that support. So you can buy one of our virtual seats. You've actually got the opportunity to purchase one of the breakthrough beanies. It'd be incredible if we could actually turn a lot of the oval into purple. Um, but then they also, the players are training today and they're actually um, wearing their, their own training jerseys, all in purple. There's a great opportunity now that the players are going to be signing those and they're all going to be auctioned off. Our vision is to help create a life free of mental illness. Everybody can be part of that. Each week this season, Flight Centre takes us around the country to check out our next opponent. The Crows have certainly had the edge over North Melbourne in recent years, but under Brett Ratton, the Roos have shown much improvement. Pretty hard to win a game over at um, AO there, and um, it's going to be a big kind of hostile crowd that we're going to be running into. Two big boys, um, Fogg and um, Tex, looking really strong. Also got big uh, Thil Thorpe as well, which uh, he goes all right. He's hit a few bags every now and then. So uh, excited kind of going up against a, a challenge like that just because they're such quality players and Tex has been in the league for however many years and um, dominating. He's leading the Coleman at the moment as well. So it's um, another kind of uh, string to his bow, but yeah, he's just going really well. So looking forward to it. Kind of brings a, a different vibe to it, um, makes it makes it real enjoyable, and it's obviously um, big shoes to fill, and um, everyone's going to do it a different way. But um, the way that he's kind of brought everyone together, and um, more so just takes the Mickey out of himself and uh, has a laugh with everyone, makes it real good and fun and enjoyable kind of uh, environment for us to be a part of. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully get a win for him soon. Now it's time to find our face in the crowd and there are plenty of happy fans to choose from. Whenever you take a photo of yourself or a friend at one of our games and post it to social media, make sure you use the hashtag WeFlyersOne. So who will it be today? Let's settle on you. Please email faceinthecrowd at afc.com.au with photo ID to claim your prize of two tickets to Toyota's exclusive Hilux Hill at Adelaide Oval. Toyota, of course, is a generous supporter of the Crows, and each week on the show, they're asking you to supply your favourite footy highlight from your local match or league. Check out this spectacular grab by three-time Hawthorne Premiership player Paul Piopolo, now turning out for Hope Valley in the Adelaide Football League. Oh, oh, Still beauty! Paul Piopolo. Great to see he's gone back to where it all started. Remember, if you record a highlight or special moment from your local competition, simply email your entry to crowshow at afc.com.au to be in the running to win a Crows merchandise pack. Remember to keep an eye on the club's website for all the latest news and check out the social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for your company and I look forward to joining you again next Sunday at 2 o'clock on 7 before the Bombers game. Next, you'll be going to Adelaide Oval as the Crows take on North Melbourne. Bye for now and go the Crows. This show was brought to you by Hungry Jack's new pulled pork and Angus Grill Masters.